why values correspond to a different... There was a tremendous amount of issues or a tremendous amount of interest in our school in developing a school uh, that would serve as a statewide model for biotechnology and science education. And uh, the planning for this school actually got in the way back in 1996 when a good friend of mine, Mr. Benji Forrest and myself, we went away down to White Lake to meet with a group of ag teachers. And back in 1996, the Charter School Initiative was getting cranked up in North Carolina. Went to work with uh, no students, no teachers, no curriculum, no anything. And with the support of an outstanding group of teachers and with parents and with the North Carolina New Schools organization, we have grown into the school that we are right now. And here we are today. We open our doors, uh, we recruit our first class. Uh, in April of 2012, we open our doors on April, actually August the 13th of 2012 to uh, scholars from five different LEAs. Uh, we bring students in from Beaufort County, from Martin County, from Terrell County, from Washington County, and Pitt County. One thing that makes our school very unique is that we are located on the Vernon James Research Center. Um, and we are able to partner our students both with NC State and with NCDA. Our curriculum right now with only having a ninth and a tenth grade, they take in ninth grade what we call agricultural applications as far as their ag class is concerned. Um, and that covers a mod pause of everything. They get a little bit of horticulture, a little bit of animal science, biotechnology, environmental and natural resources, um, and then the basic histories of ag education, where we came from, the importance of the FFA, and why we are where we are today. We uh, you know, have a website, uh, www.neregionalschool.org, and a lot of our recruitment is actually done by word of mouth. Uh, you know, people are, are beginning to hear about us, they're seeing us on television, they're seeing us, you know, in print media from that standpoint, so we've received a lot of very positive exposure from that standpoint. But the, the, the formal recruiting begins with uh, a person from our school going into local schools and talking about the Northeast Regional School of Biotechnology and Agri-Science. Uh, there we talk to 8th grade students about our program and about our presentation and about what the opportunities that exist for this school and us being an early college, uh, a five-year program where students receive their high school graduation uh, credentials as well as two years of college credit uh, that they can go and take to any four-year university that they so desire and no cost to them. And of course, a big emphasis on our school is first-generation college families. About 65% of our student body are true first-generation college families at this point in time. Um, their math curriculum is um, the integrated math program. It's the Common Core. Um, their English classes are tied together um, as a humanities course where they have their English and their history together. Um, and their science courses, our freshmen take earth and environmental science and then physics. So we have freshmen that are completing their first semester in physics right now. So the soils that tend to give that, that traffic pan are the ones where you have that most sand. So if you were plowing to get rid of the traffic pan, how deep would you have to plow? All of our students are FFA members. All of our students are required to have what we call as a um, supervised agricultural experience or SAE. Um, this is something done outside of the classroom, outside of school on their time to expand their horizons of agriculture. They can do anything from planting a garden to raising a livestock animal to, for a show and sale um, or they can do an experiment in their own home. Now, which one is harder to get out of this auger thing? Um, so our students work with the researchers located here um, with potato research and corn research. Today, um, I have students, freshmen, who are working with Mark Clow on um, potato beetle research. They will be counting the amount of larvae, beetles, adults, um, actually on our a plot of potatoes that is planted here. 
and then I have a set of sophomores that are working on some soil science with Dr. Carl Crozier and they're going to be looking at the different concepts of soil, breakup, makeup, that kind of thing. I got recruited because Mr. Davis, the principal here at NERSPA, um, came to talk to our school and showed us a PowerPoint and I thought this was a great opportunity to get a head start on my future education. So I got really interested. I told my parents. They were excited too. Then there was an open house. We came here at night and it just made me even more excited. I applied to it. I got the interview. I think I did really well and I got in. And when I came to the school I was just amazed at all the opportunities that I got to have. My original plan was to be a part of the Health Sciences Academy, which um, basically supports the same thing. But when I found out about this school, I felt like if I come here, I could get the whole experience instead of just like going out to a part-time job for like volunteer hours and stuff like that. So it just gives me a better view of what it's like to be out here and how hard the farmers work to get our food and stuff. It just makes me more appreciative of what I have. Just having that special relationship with the teachers like we go out in the field and we work with the researchers to do different activities like counting crops and they actually use that the research that we do and the help that we provide and they actually use it in their day-to-day -day things and like through technology we use our laptops to do different activities in math class horticulture um, American Lit, Civics, like all of our classes. I see this becoming a, um, a guide for other schools across the state and possibly the nation. Um, agriculture offers so many jobs and biotechnology offers so many jobs. We will have students that will actually be able to leave our school um, and go into the biotechnology field right out of high school or go into the agriculture field right out of high school. Um, and then you, we will have our students that decide to further their education and go on. But the texture should change on us again. Is that a little bit more sand in there? See what you got.